Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, where it's time for the final vlog from our first ever cruise on board the Carnival Mardi Gras. We have had an amazing time, haven't we? I can't believe it's nearly at the end. We've absolutely loved it. We've got another sea day today, so we're going to be checking out some more of the activities here on the ship, because there's still quite a few things that we haven't shown you all in the vlogs. And of course, if you haven't already, check out the vlogs playlist. Uh, we've had an amazing time. We've done lots of activities. We've seen lots of entertainment. Of course, we've seen some beautiful places as well, and we've been rocking side to side for pretty much a full week yeah, but we're all right aren't we <laughs> yeah, of course that has been the impact um, of hurricane lee which has been like over 400 miles away from the ship but we've chatted to a lot of the crew on here and even they've said they've spent like months on board and this has been the rockiest they've felt it you know so to be honest that's put us in a good mood for the kind of another cruise hasn't yeah, it because if we were to do another one we probably wouldn't get the rocking at least we know the experience of the rocking for in future and we know that it's not made us like mega real or anything like no, that it's not. you know it's been fine i think we've just got used to it now <laughs> yeah definitely but uh, here we go last day of course we're not getting off until tomorrow morning but it's an early get off so of course we'll talk about uh, getting off the ship later on um, in this video and the process and that sort of thing uh, well this will be the final video and we're gonna start off up high aren't we oh, we're doing the high ropes course this looks so scary <laughs> so this is included in your cruise you can go around as many times as you want to it is pretty windy so we'll see how we get on but yeah you can see it up here all the obstacles uh, you don't need to book a time slot or anything like that you just rock up it's got a queue line and um, we can take the GoPro on this see so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it we're gonna take you on there along with that going to check out the water park and also the mini golf and more entertainment coming up as well right are you ready for it let's go let's go and do it and it took a couple of minutes there to get all kitted up not too long at all hey and we're off here on the high ropes course at sea so yeah, you've got like two different obstacles that you can go around per area so soon you're only allowed on each one one at a time we make our way across so this is going to be quite good over at sea, hey. <laughs> it's quite high. I mean, we're probably like 30 foot off the deck just here. And of course, never done one of these out here at sea because, yeah, it's our first ever cruise. We've been building up to this one. Look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you have got like this zip wire that goes out over the water, but yeah, that part is sectioned off. Not too sure why. Maybe because of the wind, but yeah, I've not seen anybody going over that couple of different obstacles. I'll tell you what, I'll come back and I'll go on this one. Good how they let you have the GoPro, it is really windy. Oh. <laughs> Are you alright there Charlotte? It's so windy. <laughs> by the sea. Oh, you've got a hard Oh, thing. you're doing really good, Charlotte, because look how close we are to the water just there. Like, you know, you've got that fear of water, but you still come on this, which is yeah. amazing. Give it a go. I mean, you're perfectly safe because you're yeah. all strapped on, you know, you've got all your body harness on just here. But yeah, that view down there, incredible. You've got an hard one here. Yeah, this does look quite hard. This is going to move a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And we're across. Oh my God. Uh, Charlotte. Oh, oh, and Amy's just stuck there now. <laughs> yeah, you're only allowed one on each obstacle at a time. Now yeah, you got the basketball court down here. Of course, we're kind of going around in a square all the way around the outside of that. Yeah, it's great how this is included though. You okay there? Yeah. Oh, one per obstacle. Yeah. <laughs> You get a great view looking over at Bolt just over there, which unfortunately is closed again. Yeah, it's been shot a lot, sadly, during our trip over here. <laughs> we'll be going again in just a second. Right, you ready for this one, Charlotte? This looks scary. Oh, let's go. Oh, all this beam is quite trippy. Literally right by the ocean. <laughs> This is not for everyone coming on something like this. Oh, I'm nearly over. I took it quite fast. There we go, there, Charlotte. Look at this. Action shot. Look at that down there. Massive drop off the side of the ship. But look at it, you're nice and secure, fastened on. <laughs> you're doing well there, Charlotte. You're doing well. Oh, yeah, look at this little platform. Yeah, this bit's closed off. So we can't go over onto that and zip wire across. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful shot. We're in the middle of the ocean doing this. 
about 1200 meters depth the ocean at this part just to build up the suspense for you there <laughs> I <listening> to you. <laughs> well done charlotte and there's a view looking out at bolt you can see the station just up there hopefully we'll be back open again later well done over the little rope bridge yeah this one's really rickety oh wow oh it's rickety loads <laughs> oh. charlotte's coming whizzing past over here hey it's all right when you're not trying to hold a gopro <laughs> oh there she goes yeah i would not have been able to get some good shots from on that one there she is are you okay? No. Quite windy up here today as well. Whoop! <laughs> here she comes. Come on, Charlotte. You're doing well. Power on, power on. That's it, you've done it. Hooray! Got another hard one here now. I'm on. Ooh. <laughs> really close to the coast of supports just there for bolt the ultimate sea coaster not very operational though this trip it has opened but not very much so yeah, if you're coming on here make sure you get straight on it just in case great view of it just there and of course you can see our review from the bolt coaster over on theme park worldwide how are you getting on? <laughs> That's it. Heading out towards sea. I tell you what though, it's fantastic that this is included. And you can go around as many times as you want. There's no limit, which is great. That's it. I think the idea is you walk like that <laughs> on this one. But I think it might be easy just walking on the one beam. I'm not too sure. That's it. Yeah, I think it's easier just kind of walking on that one beam. There's the jogging track just down below. <laughs> and here we go, onto the platform. Oh, that's a good view looking out about. Fantastic. Oh, Charlotte's gone for this one. Here she is. <laughs> You're doing well. Look at the design of this though, literally the ultimate playground at sea. Fantastic. This is fantastic, it's free. Yeah, included. Yeah, I really like that. And of course, if you haven't seen our video about Bolt over on Theme Park Worldwide, that's $15, but you do get two laps round on there, which isn't too bad. It's unique, isn't it, with it being out over the ocean just here. And you've got the water park over there, gonna be checking that out as well. And we've got the golf down there at the bottom. But of course, it's going to be coming up for you. Oh, I've come around the wrong way. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, with these, you can't, I can't really move the GoPro because I've got the harness on. But yeah, it all kind of connects at the top just there, as you can see. Oh, there you go, Charlotte. This one looks really wobbly. Oh my God. Oh, oh, this is wobbling low. Oh. <laughs> oh, in that wind as well. This one is not good. Oh, <laughs> sorry if the GoPro footage isn't very good from this bit. Oh, Charlotte's made a new friend there. <laughs> That is shaking loads. Oh, there we go. A few more obstacles left, but you can go out onto this platform if you want, Charlotte. Are you gonna go out on that over the water? She is going for it. Oh, it is windy. Right then, Charlotte, you ready for your uh, walk of faith just there? Oh, blimey. <laughs> right over the ocean. She's going for it. <laughs> well done, Charlotte. Oh, wow. How does that feel? Look at that. Wow. You're really getting over your fear now. Wow, well done. You're really getting over that fear.
there. What a view, oh god, like, this is terrifying out here. Oh god, that is scary, that is scary. <laughs> I'm not even scared of water, but we're not going over there. If anything goes wrong, we are straight down there off the ship. I wonder if they stop and pick us up. <laughs> Woo. Right, oh, this is a weird one. What, how, how, what do you do on this one? Not yeah, but how does your wire get round? Oh, yeah. You gotta go round, have you? Like this? This is, oh, this is weird. Oh, how strange. Oh. I think that's the idea of it. I'm not too sure. Well, oh, I see why it's not going to make it round, is it? Oh, this is really awkward, this one. Oh, yeah, actually, what, like your wire is just going to get stuck, isn't it? I think that's the idea to kind of force you out to the edge over here over the water oh, oh blimey you need strength for that one Woo. i'll tell you what though this is fantastic sorry if you can't hear that much it is really windy i'm surprised that they allow this to be open in the wind to be honest i mean but you are all clipped on another great shot charlotte there <laughs> in action it's so windy. <laughs> it is blaring a lot that's word of the last kind of five minutes of this video windy oh nice view of the lido deck around there as well look at that beautiful final day here on the cruise can't believe it and this is the last obstacle charles going for that one i'm going for this bridge oh this is okay <laughs> Oh, going out on that platform was terrifying. <laughs> That's scarier than going on any roller coaster. Going out on that platform. Here comes Charlotte. Oh, well done. Oh, especially in the wind to do that. No one's going out on that little platform, you know. Everyone's just bypassing it. <laughs> Look at that. So much fun. So much fun. And there we are. Back to the end. Fantastic. Oh, that was great. Really good fun. Yeah, it's all the loading area. As you can see, there's no queue, so they let you go around again if you want to. Well, there we go. We was up there for about 10, 15 minutes, and it was absolutely brilliant, that was. Of course, going over the side of the ship, especially on that walkway, it was pretty terrifying, wasn't it? Oh, that was so scary, but I love that. Yeah, it was great. I mean, we do quite a lot of high ropes courses. This has got to be one of the best ones we've done because Definitely. of its location. And that's the thing. You put anything on a ship in the middle of the ocean, <laughs> automatically, it's going to be more exciting and more exhilarating. But yeah, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Just a really nice feature, the fact it's included as well. And yeah, all the obstacles, there were some pretty hard ones on there There well. was, some really hard ones. Yeah, show about the little zip area over at the side. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's been blocked off for a while. It's got like some metal rods in there, so I'm not too sure um, why that's off. Maybe because of the wind or the swaying side to side. I don't know if I'd um, have done that, you know. Yeah, I think because it actually goes proper over the side, that was. Scary. Um, that would have been even more scary than walking the plank out there, wouldn't it? It but, would. Uh, yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. I think we're going to uh, play around a golf next. That's just down here as well. So yeah, lots more to see. Oh, you know what? I am going to miss these beautiful views looking out over the ocean. It has been so nice. It really has. Making our way now down to golf. This could be quite fun because we're rocking back and forwards. Yeah, this will be a good laugh. Oh, it's a little bit breezy and stormy out here on the final day of our cruise. Yeah, we had some rain by the looks of it as well. Looking at the top deck. We're going to make our way here onto the golf. Really looking forward to this. So yeah, you can play it as much as you want to. It is free of charge. You don't need to book or anything like that. And yeah, it's a really nice course. Built right underneath Bolt just here. It'd be great if Bolt was going round. But yeah, it's been closed all day so far today. Yeah, it's been closed a lot during our trip here. So if you are coming on, like I say, make sure you get on it when you see it operating. But yeah, it's the ultimate playground just up here. And this is going to be a good laugh because we keep going back and forwards. This is going to be quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> 
long enough. Are oh, they all different lengths, are they? Yeah, they're really small. Get a nice them. little putter. Oh, yeah, oh, God. Yeah, we'll have a little look, see if we can find a bigger one. We've got a few different coloured balls just there. <laughs> Playing mini golf on a rocky cruise ship. This is going to be good fun. First hole, par two just over here. No oh. scorecards, we've just got to kind of do it on your phone if you want to, or tear it up in your head. Oh, I thought that was going to be a one. <laughs> Look at it rocking along. Yeah, you can put it back on the course just there. We'll let you have that. This is quite funny. Is it going to be two? No. no. Oh. It blew it away. <laughs> Three. Hey, not too bad. The balls are just going everywhere. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, well, I got what four on the uh, hole number one just there. It's quite funny. They said uh, the old one playground. Oh. Is it two? Yay! Hey, that's pretty good going for hole number two just there. Yeah, we're kind of going like this. We are. <laughs> And we just had a message from the captain as well. He says we're about 250 miles away from Port Canaveral. Of course, we're going to be arriving early in the morning. <laughs> Hole number three, just here, part two. Oh, I thought you were going to go for the bridge there. Oh, you're all the way over there. What they could do is some better sides around the edge of each of the holes, but it is free after all. Other than that, it's pretty well designed. I mean, you got some nice rocks and stuff on here. Pretty good, fiberglass. Oh. That's it, you can lift it up and put it back on if you want. <laughs> hey, that's not too bad. On par. Yeah, you got the slides over there, gonna check out those later on in this vlog. Take for a little look, there's a drop slide, there's a mat slide, and a couple of other bits up there. I don't know if you'll be able to film on the slides or not, but I'll at least show you up there and talk more in detail about the water park down here at the back. How's he gonna do on this one? <laughs> it's funny, they say. And they're just going everywhere. It's like how it's going back and forwards, aren't we? Is it going to be a two? Oh. I oh. think the rocking helps that one, you know. <laughs> the wind literally helps that. <laughs> oh, it is beautiful up here. I'm going to miss these views. I really am. I'm going to miss the Mardi Gras. It's a beautiful ship. Here we go. Oh, what was that? You got all the way over there. This is the fifth hole. It's also a par two. I thought she was going to like come up through this and uh, come down through all that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like the palm trees up here as well. Oh, oh that was close, that. Basically, Nearly on that par. Was, was I like how you still got the little bunker areas as well. Yeah. Hey, you're in. Yeah, how they could put like, a little bridge in and stuff there as well. Like we saw the other cruise ship that was parked up next to us. Their golf looked very basic compared very, to this one. Very, very basic. Yeah, like, I know this is quite basic as far as golf goes, but that one was like crazy, right? I'll have a go at this one just here. And we'll continue on onto the other side. Yeah, just nine holes on this one. Here we go. Oh, what was, was what was that? Well, I'm going to try and set it up. Actually, I thought it, it is more than nine holes on it. It is, one. I think so. Yeah, this is six, I don't know how many it is. Normally, you have nine or eight but this could be a random number. I have no idea. Right hey, oh. oh! Didn't even get the special effect. <laughs> Oh, I like how there's still the rocks and stuff on here though, which is good. Oh! How did I miss that? Oh. That is shocking. We're just kind of playing for fun here, aren't we? We are. Yeah, we're just getting our golf practicing on rocks. There we conditions. go. <laughs> on to hole seven just here now. Charlotte got a three just. Oh! Hey, we got onto that one. <laughs> yeah, they can hear they're putting a few little barriers up around the side of each one. Oh, this isn't going well. It's not, but it was never going to, was it? Golf on a cruise ship. Hey, fantastic. I do love this deck just here, though, the Ultimate Playground. I think it looks fantastic. It was so well designed with the coaster going over. But yeah, we were chatting to a member of staff who operates the coaster, and he was telling us how if it's going rocking back and forwards more than two inches, it can't operate. And he said he's been on here five months and he's actually seen it closed quite a lot like yeah, he's been on it's here. it's not the best reliable. Yeah, so bear that in mind if you're coming on here. I mean, the coaster itself is reliable. If it was on land, it'd be operating yeah, all the time. Yeah, it would. It's just because it's at sea. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's all powered up, ready to go. So it may open again later today. He was hoping to get another go on it, but you never know. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, here's a look at that helix over the top. Of course, the airtime hill down there. And yeah, it's great up here. I love it on this deck. Here we go. <laughs> Where's the oh, hole? Well, I don't know. Like, is it in that middle bit? Let me go and assess. Let's move down here a bit. Line her up. I think you've got to go into here and then the hole's down. down here. 
Here we go. Oh. Hey. Is it going to be a one from there? Oh. I hate it when that happens. We have obstacles and it's like tedious. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> and we're down here now onto hole nine. Yeah, there is only nine holes. At first I thought when we crossed over, oh, there's more, but no, it is a nine hole course. As we can see, part two again on this one. Let's see what Charlotte's got, straight into the rocks. Beautiful up here though, still topping up that sun cream, even though we're out at sea, it's lovely and warm still. I thought it might be like much more like cooler out at sea, but no, it's still warm. Look at that. Well, we got the bingo coming up next. Oh, that's it. Charlotte's just like had enough cheating there at the end. <laughs> Normally, we take golf very seriously, don't we? It's hard on it. We can't take <laughs> it seriously here. We would have done if it was smooth, but like, we can't play seriously. We can't. No, you gotta have a laugh. I still would. <laughs> Overall, though, I do really like this kind of top deck here. It's fantastic. Just looks the pie is very colourful, and yeah, you got the waterworks there. So yeah, gonna get me swim gear on and come and have a little look through that. And show you the slides of course not too sure if you can film on the slides or not but i'll show you what there is up there and you'll get a nice view actually up the top but yeah first we're going to go and check out the bingo aren't we inside oh i'm looking forward to seeing it yeah it's a good price of this one yeah there's five thousand dollars we're not playing because the queue was absolutely massive to get tickets <laughs> yeah it, it was, was big. huge so but yeah we're just going to go and watch yeah i think it'd be good to see somebody yeah, win five thousand dollars yeah we're going to go and uh, check that out now and then we'll come back up here onto the fun deck and we've made our way back here into our lovely state room and yeah it's just been clean for one final time they come in every day and yeah we've had a love heart made for us at the end just here how nice is that and this little card just down here as well we know you need to head out by 8 30 a.m so just in case we miss you tomorrow your state room attendant and i just wanted to say thank you for hanging with us it was so much fun we hate goodbyes let's just say ciao for now oh that's nice that is and our room attendant's been lovely, like Aww, she's been great. She's been so nice. Coming every day, saying another like name by name basis. Yeah, which is really nice. Which has been wonderful, hasn't it? Lovely. Oh right, we're gonna head now back down to Ooh. centre stage. We're gonna go and watch the bingo. So what's gonna happen is I've been playing around so much, but we're gonna do a four stage so I don't have to call a little bit faster, but not too fast. But my tablet tells me every ten seconds I gotta call a ball out. I'm gonna add five more seconds, okay? So we're gonna add fifteen seconds. A little bit of footage there from the bingo. Not gonna lie, it wasn't really the most exciting because bingo is very different in America to how we're used to it. Um, because yeah, they didn't actually tell you the prize you were playing for until they knew how many winners at the end, which was very different. I'm not too sure if bingo is always like that in America or not, but um, still the cards are really different and yeah, just how you play the whole game. So it was fascinating to see that, um, but yeah, it wasn't the most exciting um, to watch. But uh, anyway, Charlotte's gonna have a bit of a chill out now. Here in the room, watching the beautiful sea just over here. I am going to miss this ship so much, I really am. And I'm going to go and check out the water park now and uh, show you that just upstairs with the GoPro. So yeah, let's go and have a look up on the top deck. And here we go then, welcome to the water park here on board the Carnival Mardi Gras. And yeah, I've got to say, I find it so impressive how they have all this on board a ship. It really is fantastic. And yeah, I'm going to show you around. I have asked, and I can't take you on the slides. However, I'm going to talk about them and show you the slides just up here now so that you can see them. And yeah, you also get some other great views of Bolt. Not operated at all today. Like we mentioned, it is quite unreliable because of course it's on a ship and we are swaying back and forward. Safety is always paramount though. But yeah, here's the three different slides that you've got. Orange Thunder, Twister and Blue Lightning as well. And yeah, you've got the separate queue lines just down here for the different slides. Yeah, what a great view looking out over the water park and also the ocean as well. You get a bit of an idea as well on the brilliant views from Bolt from on here as well. And yeah, all the time we've been here, the slides haven't really got that busy. There's the queue line down there for Bolt that you can see. Like I said, I didn't get a chance to film that when we went on it a few days ago because we just kind of jumped on it as quick as we could do. Yeah, here's that view looking out, which is fantastic. There you go, so you can see the three different slides just over here. So yeah, one of them is a mat slide that you've got. Another one is a drop slide that you can see just over here. In fact, well, that's just gone now. Yeah, along with that, you've got another body slide off to the side as well. So yeah, three different slides in action just over here. Some pretty fantastic views. 
Yeah, look at all that queue line down there for bowl. Probably can't hear a lot because it is very breezy. There you go, you see them heading down there on the mat sides. Yeah, they're the three sides that you've got in action just over here. Great view from all there though, isn't it? Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. We'll be even better getting some shots of bowls coming round from this angle. Yeah, you can see a bit of the wear and tear on Bolt, the ultimate sea coaster. That's the thing, it's always going to get wear and tear though, especially being out here exposed to the elements. Yeah, the slides are really good fun. I mean, the drop slide, when I went on that, Joe, you know, it builds up quite a bit of speed at the bottom here, goes around the corner, you kind of go up the side a little bit and then comes out down at the bottom. So yeah, they're all quite short. And the best one out of the three was the mat slide, in my opinion. Tipping bucket. It comes down here as well. Can't go wrong with the tipping bucket. And some other great water effects. <laughs> I've left my t-shirt on because my sunburn is pretty bad. And yeah, you can see where you come out of the yeah, three different slides just down here at the bottom as well. But yeah, it's a gorgeous day. I don't feel like we're swaying as much as we were before. You can see the kind of design of this. Wasn't this done really well there with the design? Like with the station for Bolt up there, the high ropes on the other side. Oh, they really packed so much in to this whole kind of fun area that there is on board the ship. Yeah, I'd say that the family one is the uh, yellow slide out of them all just there in my opinion and of course the mat slide not too bad either <laughs> all these fun effects it's got a small slide for the kids over there as well yeah that's your water park very nice though it's been designed beautifully they're on board carnival mardi gras but yeah i'm gonna uh, probably go on the slides again or a couple of them again with them not having much of a queue and yeah we've got a night of entertainment coming up our final night on the cruise. You know what? I am really going to miss cruise life. It has been fantastic. It really has. Well, there we go then. Back down here in the stateroom. Walked in on Charlotte fast asleep. I and know. Then. I've had another sleep. you got to think we've got 10 Disney days coming up though. So you may as well make the most of the Get rest. Get that sleeping. Hey, but we've enjoyed the activities, haven't we, today? It's been great. Oh, I really enjoyed that. The high ropes course was so good. Yeah, that was my favourite, actually. I love the high ropes and the views from on there. The fact it's included is great. Along with that, the golf, we didn't really take it seriously, <laughs> did we? It was too hard to take it seriously with it blowing around. <laughs> but so, yeah, it was still good fun. Nine hole course, again, for free. Uh, and and then yeah, just checked out the water park and yeah, I would class it as a mini water park really. You got so many pools and hot tubs on the ship. Uh, and then of course you got the whole kind of, uh, the three slides, the tipping bucket, and also all the interactives and stuff up there. You wouldn't have liked no, that. No, I definitely wouldn't have liked it. <laughs> water going everywhere, but some great views of bowls in the surrounding area. You probably couldn't hear much in the clip there with the wind, um, but yeah, it's still very breezy. But it's nice, there's just so much to do on this ship. And of course we've got our final evening now of entertainment to enjoy. We have, so it's gonna start with a flag parade so all the staff are going to be representing their countries with their flags that should be quite nice and then along with that we've got a show called it we are one. we are one i'm not too sure what it's going to be yeah kind of like this celebration or everybody uniting together by the sounds of it nice. but i did just walk past some of the setup we've got some uh, aerial acrobats again in this one and yeah the setup looks really good so i think it's going to be a big spectacle similar to celestial strings Love and that. the voodoo show it's that sort of scale it's on in center stage so we've got that to enjoy and some more live music and entertainment of course to wrap up our cruise but we're going to go and sit now in our favourite place one last time aren't For we? the buffet. Hey, the buffet restaurant see what we've got in there tonight uh, and then yeah we'll take you along for our final evening here on Mardi Gras. I am going to miss it it's been so really well. nice really enjoyed it. I'm going to have a final walk now up here at the top in the daytime at least I'll probably come up here again tonight because I really like it looking up at the stars but yeah one final shot from up here it's been emotional like it all started nearly a week ago when I got picked out to do that dance competition down there like I can't believe how much we've seen and done in that time yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. I'm quite emotional that it's coming to an end I know I can't believe it and I know we're going to Walt Disney World which will be amazing but I have really enjoyed this cruise really yeah it's been great the coaster is what brought us on here 
but everything else is what's really made it. Like, you know, the coast was fun, but th this is literally, you know, this cruise has just been fantastic. Oh, we've loved every minute of it. Oh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring you up here for one kind of last walk around just to show you it really. And the entertainment starts in just under an hour's time. I'll miss this serenity area, especially up there in the hot tub last night. That was gorgeous. Let's have one more look down here at the front. And something I still can't get over is the sheer scale of this ship and just how many lounges there is, especially in this adult area. Oh, look at this. Like, not one person in any of these around here this evening taking it in, like, oh, crazy. The chairs are They're great. I, I'd like one of them in the garden. It's so comfortable. Don't really get the weather for it, though, do we, back home? Yeah, look down here at the front of the ship and you had the bridge and the captain is of course is just underneath here I believe as well but yeah just so much space all the way around it's absolutely beautiful we'll definitely be cruising again in the future probably in 2024 back here in Grand Central for one final time and of course center stage ready for Festival of Nations. Oh, look at all the props around. We've got a big Chinese dragon just over there. We've got all these drums, all the different flags. Oh, it looks like a really good setup. We've got an elephant just over here. There's these massive globes here. Yeah, there's gonna be some sort of aerial acrobats as well. And yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. So yeah, coming up over the next few minutes, highlights from Festival of Nations. And basically the shows are all rolling into each other tonight. They're only on once. So we got here nice and early, about half an hour before tend to open up the seating area down here on the ground level so we can have a really good front seat view for these shows coming up starting off with Festival of Nations. Ladies and gentlemen, have you had a great vacation everyone? Yes? Well I just want to say thank you so much for every single one of you being here on this wonderful vessel and deciding to spend your vacation with us on the Mardi Gras and I'm glad every single one of you had had a good vacation but can you do me a favour please give a big round of applause to the people making your vacation give a big round of applause to all the incredible crew members that we have on for none other than South Africa! Woo! Celebrating all the crew members right on the ship. We got none other than Croatia! Yay! Over 60 nations working we on board. We just created the strongest war out there. Put your hands together for China! Maybe you have, maybe you have it. Let's see. We got Canada! For none other than Nicaragua! Woo! Now we got a lot of crew members who come from this place. I'm sure you met a lot of them. So do me a favor, go wild and crazy for them. Please give it up for none other than Indonesia! Woo! Now this place generally is the most quietest out there. So you gotta make sure you represent. If this is you, go wild and crazy, get on your feet, go chanting its name, it's the USA! <laughs> Where Trevor, your bones gone! You may have seen them around. We got Thailand! Woo! And of course, how can we bet? The large majority of our crew members come from this place, the most friendly and most amazing people out there. Please go wild and crazy for none other than the Philippines! And of course, this great place right here, we're gonna go to it next cruise. Please put your hands together for Mexico! And of course, my hometown, please do me the honor and welcome me onto the stage. Lucy, one of your first gone holding our flag, it's the United Kingdom! Now here you see, 
What you see is, is that we love you and there is nothing you can do about it. So do me a favor, put your hands up in the air. If you got your flags, I want you to wave the flags. If you don't have the flags, I want you to wave your hands as well. You better take a picture of all this incredible moment right here. This is a prime example that the world can come together because we need it at this time. Wait for some Really nice and very special and emotional actually. All the different nations that make up the crew here on the Mardi Gras. And up next, we've got We Are One.
Tonight has been truly wonderful. Sitting there in the main atrium and watching all of that fantastic entertainment. It was just show after show and it was like two and a half hours of constant entertainment for us tonight. Oh, we absolutely loved that. When they brought all the flags out and everyone was representing their country, we absolutely loved it. It made me quite emotional. We've been like one big family on here this week and it has been absolutely fantastic. It really has. Where do you even start? to summarise everything that we've seen and done. It really has been amazing. But firstly, if you haven't already, make sure you check out every other video in this series. Uh, we've had six vlogs here on the Sandbrook Adventures and we've really shown you everything that we've been getting up to from our first ever cruise. And it certainly uh, won't be our last. In fact, this is the start of us doing many more in the future, oh, isn't it? 100%. We have absolutely loved every single second of this. It was the bolt coaster what drew me to book this cruise. However, that isn't anywhere near up there as one of our highlights. It's everything else that we've done. All the entertainment, the amazing ports, and just how friendly everyone's been. We've had some brilliant food and I tell you what I just absolutely love this cruise. Oh I don't want to leave. It's really sad that it's come to the end but what are some of your highlights would you say Charlotte? Oh, there was just so many highlights like the amazing entertainment staff, Celestial Strings was my favourite, it was. Um, the love of marriage show I absolutely love that and the highlight has got to be Jackie our cruise director he's been absolutely incredible. Big shout out to Jackie of course he got me out dancing <laughs> back at the start but yeah we just had a bit of a chat with him as well he's also from England which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you what, he's been amazing and he's made our first cruise extra special here on Carnival. Uh, but yeah, we also found out there's like 17 Brits on the whole ship out of 6,000. That is crazy, literally 17 British people out of everybody that's on this cruise. Yeah, like how crazy is that? And it's not, it's one of those you don't often hear of people back in the UK booking a Carnival cruise. I would 100% recommend Definitely. it. Um, it's been absolutely awesome, it really has. And uh, yeah, we just thank you so much for joining thank us on you. this amazing 
adventure. In terms of getting off the ship, we've got all that information. There's basically two different ways of doing it, isn't there? Yeah, so you can have the express where you take your own luggage and literally just get off first. And then you've got the one where you can leave your bags outside your room and then collect them at the end. Yeah, we've gone for the express. It goes via muster station because we're actually in the alphabet as A. It we're means first. we're going to be getting off first, which is great. So literally we just pack up here, um, take all our stuff probably at 8am in the morning and we're straight off. Uh, and then of course, yeah, making our way down to Walt Disney Ooh. World. And you can see that over on Theme Park Worldwide. But what a trip. Of course, if you've got any questions, drop them down below. We'll always try and answer the best we can do. We've loved it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we came onto this a week ago, not knowing what a cruise was going to be like. And we've left, I mean, not experts, but we certainly know a lot more about it, oh, don't we, we now? absolutely love it. Everyone's just been so friendly. Everyone's been chatting. Oh, it's been so good. So many highlights. I could keep this ending going for minutes and upon minutes and minutes because there's been so much to talk about. Uh, of course, Amber Cove was my favourite kind of port we stopped at as lovely. well. Um, that was incredible. It really was. But thank you to all the staff on Carnival. Thank you. Uh, here on the Mardi Gras. It's a beautiful ship. We definitely recommend it. I've enjoyed every single moment on here. I don't want to leave, yeah, you know. And that's saying something, especially when we're about to go to Walt Disney World. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm really excited for that. But I'm also very sad that this part's come to I an end. I am gutted to be leaving. You know, we've had a lovely relax as well. It's been amazing. And of course, there'll be more cruise content coming up, um, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Um, what a moment. Make sure you comment down below your favourite moments from this cruise. Uh, we would love to uh, hear all of those down below in the video comments. We'll see you back on dry land. Thank you very much for watching and, and have your own adventures. adventures. See you in the next video.